Big moment. <laughs> the only thing I can think of right now is I wish I had some sunglasses. <laughs> Precious gift I got. Thank you. Love you too. Love you. I know that as you stand here in front of your family and friends, you feel honored that they're here. And know that this special time in your life is, is enhanced because both of you have families that are just extremely amazing. JB, I was debating if I should start my vows way back to the day that we met on the lake years ago. But I wanted to start with the day that sticks with me the most. I remember the night so clearly. It was my best friend's birthday party and you were mo motivated by a little liquid courage <laughs> because your friend had hit a hole in one that day. Of course, the story <laughs> includes golf. You pulled me aside that night telling me you liked me and you had a crush on me for years. I was obviously shocked because we had always just been friends, but I never thought anything more. Little did I know that night would change my life forever, and that we would be standing here getting married today. I'm so thankful for the whole in one celebration that gave you the courage that night, and that we were able to take the chance of becoming more than just friends. I love that we built a friendship first, because it's changed the way I view being in love. A foundation built on friendship will stand the test of time. I can come to you in my times of need, and you always lift me up in my times of triumph. You've taught me the value of living each day to the fullest, and to put my full heart into anything I do. You have the thing about you that draws people in and makes them want more, and to know more about you. You're passionate. You put family and friends first. You're hardworking and driven. You're thoughtful. If you set your mind to something, you always make it happen. You're one of the smartest people I know. And you're funny and you're always the life of the party. I could go on and on, but what I'm trying to say is that you're the partner of my dreams. I've always felt like I was a go-getter myself, but I could never find someone that could keep up with me. Keep up with me. But I was very wrong. <laughs> you've brought out the best in me and you've pushed me to be the best version of myself that I didn't even know existed. I can't wait to see what we accomplish together in the future. The years have flown by with you by my side. Small moments and landmark moment events like today have led us to this mountain top where you become my husband. I promise to cherish, cherish each day with you, whether it be a big, big or small, exciting or calm day. I promise to never stop building on our love and our relationship. I love that lanky teenager when we first met, but I truly love the man that stands before me today as you become my husband. I can't wait to see the love I have for you one day and watch you become a father to our future children. I want to end uh, my vows with virtues we should both strive to live by until we're old and gray, or in your case, maybe bald. <laughs> 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 to be truthful to one another, to be respectful, to be patient, selfless, kind, encouraging, forgiving, and last but not least, with love. Love you. Catherine, where do I begin? The last three years have flown by when I think of everything we have gone through, both good and bad. But one thing has been constant, 
and that is my love for you as a true companion and the love of my life. As we sit up on this beautiful rock, I can't help but think how lucky of a guy I am to have you by my side in this moment. The last three years, you have become this loving nurturer that I can depend on to raise a family with. But also your dad and brother let you be one of the boys growing up, and I think that you have the mental and physical toughness that is a rare quality amongst girls. <laughs> I want to thank you for having the patience and trust in me to bring our lives together and eventually lead to marriage. It took some maturing on my part to realize the qualities that are truly lifelong, the qualities that make a good person after you're 25, when life actually begins. <laughs> you have those qualities, Kat. I will not say everything has been all warm and fuzzy, though. When our friendship and relationship have been in trouble in the past, it generally hasn't been solved by endless analysis and counseling of the issue. The problem, is solved by the, the problem hasn't been solved by the force of you or I. It has been healed by the third force, the love and connection between us. And all we have to do is calmly allow that love back into our hearts to restore us. I promise to never stay mad at you, to see things from your point of view, to appreciate every kiss and hug we share, to make all the I love yous count, to be the loving and strong husband and eventual father you expect. The soul needs love as urgently as the body needs air. In the warmth of love, the soul can be itself. I feel, I feel like I can truly be myself around you, Catherine, and I can talk my silly voices at Brax or sing a song on guitar off key without fearing your judgment. When love came into my life, I'm just sorry. It's fine. You're good. When your love came into my life, unrecognized dimensions and possibilities of my destiny were awakened and have blossomed and grown. With this eternal pact, I am here to realize and honor these possibilities with you at my side. I love you, guys. Look into her beautiful eyes. Catherine, I give you this ring. Catherine, I give you this ring. As a part of me. As a part of me. To encircle not just your finger. To encircle not just your finger. But your whole being. But your whole being. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. In doing this. In doing this. I take you as my wife. I take you as my wife. Touched. Place that in the third finger of JB's hand. Uh, please repeat after me. JB, I give you this ring. JB, I give you this ring. As a part of me. As a part of me. To encircle not just your finger. To encircle just not your finger. But your whole being. But your whole being. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my, as a sign of my love and faithfulness. In doing this. In doing this, I take you as my husband. I take you as my husband. <laughs> Sweaty hands. In accordance with the laws of the great state of Texas, <laughs> it's my privilege and honor to pronounce you husband. Woo! <laughs> and, and JB, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> That's what creates Hoover's Valley, where we, where I live, where I grew up my entire life. 
And there's Inks Lake over there, and that flows into Lake LBJ, which is the lake that we met on, yep. on two jet skis, <laughs> uh, back when I was 16 and you were 15. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and we've been friends since then, but uh, yeah, we just got married. <laughs> September, we're gonna we're That's gonna redo right. this all. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna redo yeah. it all in September. We'll have yeah. So much fun. Absolutely. And uh, JB has just been a, a blessing to our family. That um, the whole family has welcomed him in. I wish there's this great big bunch of people that's behind these two, okay. and they're here with you today. And, and we'll redo it. But um, I love you to death. We love you to death. So there was this family toast. And he's going to go, oh, not that one. It's not that one. But it was my, my uncle was a, was a priest, and all of, he married all of the kids. And then my brother Mike, who's the oldest, would, has, has always carried it on. And we will redo it in September. Yes. With everyone. Right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right? And, it's, and it's, supposed to be in, it's supposed to be in Spanish, and I can't do it in Spanish. So we're going to do it. So. We'll do the English we're version. We're going to do the English version. So it's, so it's never above you. Never below you, always beside you. Oh. All right, and that's not just y'all. That's all of us. We love you. We're gonna be here no matter what. Right. Amen. 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 Salute. Cheers. 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 Thank you. You knew that. Well, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this also, but uh, you know, I'm pushing that 71 here pretty quick, and uh, I'm, I'm looking back at how kind life has been to me uh, all these years, and of the people around me, but I've really learned that it is a privilege to have productive, healthy children, and uh, I can't thank you guys enough for being so wonderful, you know, <laughs> all my children, and um, the union of this family, it, it just, it takes the words out of my mouth. I mean, I was pretty misty-eyed up there on that mountain. <laughs> That's why I was wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you. Love you, Dad. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Three, two, Woo! one.
Actually, I'm at it. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Still has your hair. Look at your. No, this is sexy. Come on.